very good morning to you. My name is Atul Kakke. I'm from the batch of 1973 at Sanitary House. I was sent to school against my wishes when I was a fat child, all of nine years old. Frankly, I wanted to run away that first night because I thought my parents were abandoning me. Actually, as my father explained later, Kolkata, where we lived, was beset with challenges with the natural lights, and most schools used to remain closed all the time. Plus, my father was also an alumni of the Sindhya school. The first term at Sindhya was disastrous, and other boys were extremely unforgiving, as is to be expected for someone who was very fat. However, I soon settled down and excelled in all areas that fat children could. Dramatics, debates, elocutions, some sports where I did not have to run, so I became a goalkeeper, an opening batsman, and such like. I also lost weight. As an individual, I have always been a bit of an outlier. Indeed, some people call me a rebel at times. In the sense that traditional occupations have never interested me. I started my career as a German interpreter. I then moved on to become an advertising executive, a marketing and VR professional, over the 35 years of my working life. I have been with many eminent corporates in management positions, companies like the Indian Express Group, Tata Consultancy Services, Accenture, the Future Group, and more recently, India's largest PR firm, Ad Factors. Uh, what has Cynthia given me? Well, first of all, it gave me confidence. It taught me to be fearless. I remember a time when I was marketing director for Accenture and I told the global chairman of Accenture that Tiger Woods, who was then the global brand ambassador, would not work in India. I was proven right. Cynthia also helped me take my own decisions from a very early age. So you took your decision and you lived by them without regrets, whatever be the outcome of the decision. It then taught me that friends you make in most times, mean much more than the family. My mother even today says, I lost you when you were nine years old. And that is because I'm closer to the friends I made in Sindhya than I am to most people in my family. Sindhya also gave me my proudest moments, like the time when I was chosen as the youngest school prefect ever as well as when Ranoji House won the general efficiency sheet when I was house captain, after a gap of over 40 years. The house had previously won the efficiency sheet when my father was the house captain, which made it a doubly proud moment for me. Uh, to me, in many ways, Sindhya is not just a school. It has always been home. And, uh, it's a feeling which I really can't describe. It is who I am at all times, for good or bad. Thank you.